If you've taken the train recently, you'll know that our rail fares are already ridiculous, but today they go up again. Since privatisation, rail fares have increased by 27% in real terms. If we brought the railway into public ownership, we could save money and use that money to reduce fares. 76% of us want that to happen. But how do we bring the railway into public ownership? Well, we've got a five-step plan. Step number one, we need to change the law to allow the UK government to run a railway. Right now, that's not allowed. The Railways Act forbids it, even though state-owned companies from other countries like Germany and France are allowed to run bits of our railway. Step number two, we need to reinstate directly operated railways. That's the operator of last resort that is allowed to step in when private companies fail. But now the government has disbanded it and the operator of last resort is a bunch of private consultants. Step number three, we need to bring our rail franchises in-house one at a time. Rail franchises are just contracts with private companies and when they come to an end, we can take them into public ownership. Rail workers can keep their jobs, services can keep running, we don't need to compensate shareholders. Step number four, we need to own our own trains. Right now, our trains are owned by Roscoe's rolling stock companies, which buy the trains from the train manufacturers and lend them to the train companies. They make 200 million profit every year, and that's money that could be reinvested back in our railway. So the government needs to buy our trains directly. Step number five, once we've changed the law, reinstated the public sector provider, brought rail franchises in-house and bought our own trains, we have the makings of a publicly owned integrated rail network and we need to make sure that network works for passengers. We pay for the railway whether through our taxes or through our fares and we should own it. If you want a publicly owned railway, join us on the five-step path to public ownership.